Yeah, g'day. Um, I'm just in this um, uh, Yalorn North. So this is the um, site where the Premier announced in 2019 that um, the cessation of native forests would occur in Victoria by 2030. And in the meantime, the state was going to plant 50,000 hectares of um, blue gum. So th this site is the first site that was planted out in 2019. So the trees be approximately a year old. Um, some are growing better than others, which isn't unusual in a in a plantation. So. Uh, what the government's plan is, is that these trees by uh, 2030 will be uh, cut down and sent to Maryvale to be used as pulp, pulp logs. Uh, this site was an old um, bluegum plantation established by Hancock Victorian Plantation. So effectively all that's going on is one bluegum rotation has been replaced by another one so it's hardly new it's just the same land use repeating itself um, what's interesting too is if you just go over if you look down into the, into the little gully there the um, state so desperate for blue gum well that property has, was a blue gum plantation too right next to this one but it's been replanted with pine so I can only imagine that the, that land over on that corner is managed by Hancock, Victorian Plantations, because they gave up planting hardwood, um, well blue gum specifically, was, uh, the companies uh, gave up growing that in the 90s because of the poor growth rates. And since about five years ago we've noticed that Hancock have been planting pine where almost all their hardwood plantations were. So it would appear that the private companies potentially know something here that the state government doesn't, that the hardwood plantations aren't the best, most profitable crop in the ground. So that was that's an odd little juxtaposition of the saviour of native forests plantations on this side going back to blue gum, but the private side is going back to pine. In the bit of, in the background, there's more plantations. I think that they're all Hancock plantations. So yeah, this is significant uh, area because uh, this is the cornerstone of the state's strategy to um, stop native forest logging. As I understand it, this is managed by Vic Forests, um, and it doesn't look like they're doing a very good job. I mean, there's weeds all over the place. Um, and it was, it was full of blackberries in places that I looked at too. So, yeah, it's an interesting um, spot. And for forest campaigners, this is probably one of the most significant areas in the state because this is the start of getting out of native forest. And the date will be 2030, apparently. Uh, I don't know if Dan Andrews will be around by then, but... Let's just say I'm slightly sceptical these trees are going to be ready by 2030.